hello guys welcome back to the channel so this video is basically is the updated version of creating a wordpress child theme okay so i have created it before also but i think some people are getting difficulties in creating it okay so let's start with creating a plugin without using any plugin just with a normal code okay so i am on my wordpress dashboard here okay so first thing you need to do is install a plugin okay okay you might say now uh, you are using a plugin for creating a child thing right no we are using a plugin for accessing the file manager okay once we have created the theme we can delete the file manager plugin so of course we will be not using any plugin okay so let's start with it just go in a plugin and click on add new okay just search for file manager okay and probably install and activate this okay which is for mnd sing i think yeah so just install it and click on active okay simple so now once the plugin is activated you will find this option here which is wp file manager just click on it normally okay and now you will see this screen in front of you okay now here you need to be careful okay so just follow me okay click on the wp content folder here okay i will just close this notification okay so we need to go inside this wp content folder okay because our all themes plugins file are inside that okay just double click on that folder or you can directly click on here and you will be in the wp content folder okay the next thing you can do is go to themes okay of course we need to create a child theme so we will need to go in a themes file okay so now we are in themes okay so these themes are currently in my wordpress okay so i have dv uh, the theme which is activated okay we already have a dv child theme okay so what we will do we will create one more dv child theme okay for that what we need to do is create one folder in this directory only inside the themes okay so let's create one folder okay okay you can find this option here which is new folder just click on it and name it maybe okay just i'm adding it as a demo as we have done this in a last video also so yeah demo now open that demo folder which you have created okay you can click on here also to open that folder i will click here now the folder will get open okay now the first thing you need to do is create one css file okay now just go here which says new file okay just uh, right side of the create folder new folder option okay new file just click on that and then click on style okay i mean the css file just click on it and name it style.css and press enter okay remember to name it only style.css okay if you name it any other thing it will not work okay so just name it style.css now we need to add some code inside that okay so don't worry you need, don't need to write the code we will just copy it from a website wordpress website okay so yeah we are inside the editor now now just go to the child theme uh, documentation here just copy this thing i mean this is the css comment okay i will come here and paste it here that's it you need to do here okay then the next thing you need to do is change this theme name okay for now i am making a demo theme so i will make it demo of course then theme uri okay you can add it uh, the parent theme uri okay uh, in my case if i am creating dv theme i mean dv child theme so i will add the theme uri of dv only okay then i can change the description so maybe we can add this is 
demo theme okay and author we can change author if you want here yeah? you can do anything with the child okay now the main thing you need to do is this okay you can also add your website name if you want okay you can do that then the main thing you need to do is change this template to dv okay okay so how you will know that uh, what is the template name just make sure you are adding the same name as the theme folder suggest if i am creating a 2022 child theme i might write here 2022 without any space without any special character in between just write down like the folder it is okay now i have just write the name of the theme okay which is dv okay so yeah you can keep this all other things same and we will change the text domain same to the template okay so it is now dv and template is our dv okay remember this template name should be same as your parent theme folder okay parent theme. this one yeah. in our case we are creating dv so yeah dv okay so i will just click close and save okay. simple we have created the style file now if you go to themes okay we have not created yet child theme i'm just trying to show you what happens when we create a folder and inside that we create a style.css file okay so now in themes okay if you go down you will see broken theme okay the theme name is demo and the parent theme is missing please install dv parent theme okay it is asking us to install a dv parent theme but we already have a dv parent theme okay so the second thing we need to do here is create a php file okay so again go to the new file section click on it and now just click on plain text here okay and name it functions dot php remember to change the extension to php okay it should be functions dot php okay and hit enter okay that's it make sure the kind is showing php source okay so yeah it is now a php file now what we need to do again we need to add some code inside that file so just click on here and go to code editor then go to the theme directory i mean the theme documentations and from here you can copy this whole code okay okay the second code okay just remember to copy the second code it, it is a full code okay just go here and paste the code here and click on save and continue okay that's it now just go here and refresh okay uh, okay still our theme is not here okay so i think maybe i have misplaced this template name okay so let's go here again and go to code editor and change this name to capital d and it should be capital d let's save and close and now let's just refresh okay so now you can see we have successfully created a child theme of dv if you open that it shows the author name okay it shows our theme name and it shows this is a child theme of dv okay so i hope you have understand how to create a dv or any child theme in wordpress without using any plugin okay so probably the main thing to remember is when you create a style.css file remember to add the template as your folder name same as your folder name okay i just misplaced the capital d so i have firstly added the small i mean the lower case for both but when i change it to the uppercase 
द थीम शोज यर सक्सेसफुली ओके सो यह लेट जस्ट कैंसल इट एंड अगेन वी विल रिफ्रेश दिस एंड नाउ वी विल ट्राई टू एक्टिवेट दिस थीम ओके लेट जस्ट एक्टिवेट इट एंड लेट सी इफ यू आर गेटिंग एनी एरर ओके नो ओके सो वी हैव नॉट बट एनी एरर okay so if i go on pages or post let's just open anything uh, okay just i will just create a demo post quickly okay so just i will open it in a new tab okay now you can see all the styles are coming okay it is same as a dvd so yeah this is how you can create a dv or any child theme without using any plugin okay now if you want uh, suppose some of the files from the child theme to your i mean the parent theme to your child theme then what you can do is just go here now i am in a main parent directory theme folder okay i will just click here and then select this also i will just make a copy of it and i will go in my theme folder and here i will paste okay now i will get footer.php header.php in my child theme now if i made any changes in this it will not gonna affect to the parent theme okay but yeah of course it gonna affect to our theme i mean any changes you made in this header or footer it will affect on your front end okay so once you have made changes in header and footer or any file in the child theme and when the update will come for this main dv file okay so it will only update the parent theme okay it will only update the parent theme remember and it will not update the code inside your footer header functions or any file you have added in your demo theme in short when the update come it only updates the parent theme not the child theme so this is why it is important to create a child theme if you are going to do customization in your wordpress website okay so once you have done all with this i mean creating the child theme and adding files to your child theme then what you can do just go in plugins again and deactivate this wp file manager plugin okay i will just deactivate it and i will just delete it from here again we will check the theme i will go on themes and still you can see we have the demo theme still activated here so when you deleted the plugin uh, wp file file manager plugin then also the plugin will work no need to worry about that okay so i hope you have understand this so yeah thank you for watching video please like share and subscribe to the channel thank you